Whoa, crazy sounds 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm Mike the Explosive One, and we're starting the timer. Boom. 10 minutes or less. TT. No. I saw Did a you story. call me TT? Yeah, TT. TNT. We are not going to make that a normal I, life. No, I don't want to do it. You call me Joni. I say TT by accident. And now all of a sudden, that's a problem. I don't Step know. It just here. sounds kind of, I don't know. T- that sounds made like me, a, sounds like a girl in the, in, in the neighborhood. You're like, where TT at? <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't that though? You would yes, never call it a does guy. Sound exactly you like wouldn't that. call a guy TT. You wouldn't be like, "Where yo, where TT at?" <laughs> like Why that doesn't. Are you that accent. Yo, where TT at? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, y'all seen Titty? <laughs> titty. <laughs> Just call me Titty from now on. <laughs> Jonas here with Titty. <laughs> <laughs> titty Dynamite. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. So, anyways, way off tangent. I swear this is a show. Yeah, there is, we're really going to do a podcast today. So, I saw this article, dude. This guy, he works at Walmart, right? Okay, fair. And <laughs> he hates his wife so much. Oh, my God. I hate his wife, too. That on his days off, he goes to Walmart and he, he, he leaves the house in his Walmart uniform. He gets to Walmart, changes his clothes into regular clothes, walks oh. around the store all day. Oh man! Because his wife will call him at work, and he want he needs to be there if she calls to talk to him at work. So he has to be in Walmart, but he but he goes there for full eight hour days, roaming around the store without his wow. uniform on on his days off. Wow! To avoid his wife. Wow. Why don't you just divorce her, dude? Dude, it's yeah. I mean, it always that sounds easier said than done. But I'm, I'm more. I mean, I'm not necessarily like, hey, look, dude, here's the answer to your problem. I feel the pain of like living in a household with somebody that you cannot stand to yeah. the point where you go out of your way to go to work to escape that person's <laughs> wrath. That is the saddest thing a man can experience it, in his life. It, I felt my heart break a little bit for this man. Like, right? Like, it got to the point where his best idea was, I'm going to go to work on my day off and wander around Walmart all day. Oh, my God, man. Like, I can understand you want to go fishing with the fellas. You want to go to the bar. Right. This man has no other recourse yeah. than it, to go to work. Uh, pretend he's working when he's not. <laughs> so, so, But yet be to there escape his wife. so he can field her phone calls if she calls him while he's at work. How do you get into the situation, man? I know it doesn't start out like that. You know, everyone is on their best. Yeah. Every, every person is on their best behavior. Right, in right. Early I'm stages sure this of happens in reverse with men and w- like women hate their husbands so much. So I'm not just trying to say it's the woman's problem. Yeah, but how does it get to that point? Dude. How do you let it get that bad? I don't know. But I guess you do get trapped, man. Because whether it's, whether it's a situation of uh, a lot of times it'll be we have a kid. It's for uh. the kid. Uh, I, I get that that doesn't make it right because it, it only f- fucks up the kid worse yeah, because yeah, the kid yeah. sees a very dysfunctional family. Exactly. So yeah. it's it's more functional to see both of your parents happy with another person and split time than to live in a house where they literally cannot stand to be together. Oh, no. So there's that. The other thing is, dude, people, people have serious attachment issues because yeah. it's like. Or is it the fear of being alone, you mean? Both. Yeah, you oh, either get so attached to someone that you can't recognize that they're bad for you. Oh, that's that's true. That definitely happens. Or you have to rely on them, like like stay at home husbands, stay at home wives. Like, how am I going to leave this person? I have no money. Like, we, yeah, it's our money because yeah, we're yeah. married, but I have no money. Like, if I want to leave and go get an apartment, where am I going to get two thousand dollars to put a deposit down, get a fur- some furniture, get some? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and that that's that's absolutely true. I've definitely like I've worked with a lot of women in my life, so I may have heard it more than than you have. But I'm sure that everybody can relate to the idea of that person that comes to work and they complain about their significant other. Oh, constantly. Yeah, yeah, constantly. Yeah, like I should leave his ass, or I should leave her. I swear I can't stand her. I swear I can't stand. And it's very common. And it's just like you're like, well, you should, and you tell them why don't you? 
and then it's always no. And I'm always like, those people are, they're capping a little bit. They got to be embellishing a little bit. They got to be putting a little extra sauce on the situation. They're complaining to me just because they want to get it out because yeah. it's cathartic. Yeah. But really, they go home and they're they're the first one to Dude, jump, in the, fear, jump in the bed with this person. Fear is a real thing. Um, I, you know, I, I've known people in the past. I knew a person that they were unhappy in their situation situationship they decided to leave yeah and then still months and months later they live in a different place but they're still so caught up on hurting the other person <laughs> that they are like they're not living their life they're like oh. they're like they're basically trapped in so, their own personal hell so that attachment is still there they still have even though they're not f physically near them yeah mentally there's still... right and until like yeah it's like well yeah you were living in your own personal hell living with them and now you've left and created your own personal hell somewhere else you just letting this person live rent free in your mind right constantly i'd see it now i do not i i, I can't relate to that whatsoever no me, me neither it, well like and maybe for a little bit like because like i was married when we separated or you know whatever when she asked me to move out or whatever like for a, okay. a little bit, I was like, oh, I wonder what's going to happen with this. Are we going to reconcile? Are we going to not? Are we, you know, whatever? What's going on with them? And How there's always going to be some degree of emotional baggage right. when you're coming out of any relationship. Right, especially if it's a marriage and you're together it's, like seven yeah, yeah, years yeah, yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's a little different than like I dated this girl for three months. But but yeah, like, but at some point you have to be like, all right. Yeah, let that shit go. All right, let them do their. And even if like you have kids with them. Yeah. Yeah, you have to have some sort of connection with them, but like, it's like, you have to set boundaries and be like, hey, don't hit me up unless we're talking about the kids. Hey, Ugh. you know, just things like that. Ugh. Or just block, if, if you don't have kids, block their ass. Not to say that a year down the road, you can't try to like be friends, but dude, you cannot break up with someone and still keep them in your life, especially if you didn't want the relationship to end. It always works better if you're the break -upper <laughs> to be like, oh, yeah, honey, we can still be friends if you want and talk rather than the person who's still completely head over heels in love with you uh, that you push him out of your life. You ever break up with that chick and then she tries to get back up, get back together with you? And you're like, nope. Yeah, I uh, I got one of those right now. Yeah. I yeah. got one right now. Oh, do you? Oh, man, come on. I don't know about this. Come on, brother. You know how I put it down. Yeah. In the bedroom. Oh shit! They're they're still aching for it all these years <laughs> later. Still aching for this. <laughs> they're they're like, listen. I know that was like nine years ago. <laughs> but uh, I need a second dose. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. I uh I definitely uh the last girl I broke up with, I broke up with her, and and then she sent me this big long like email no. email yep and you sent her a no yeah and i was just like no i don't think that's i don't think that's good like nope. no i don't like yeah like i i you know like it it's i'm not I, i'm not, you're you are a little i don't know like you're a little more able to cut people off like like yeah. i have a harder time cutting people off on the surface yeah yeah i mean right right but but you don't have the problem up front to be like yo you're not a you're not a positive influence in my life. Bye. No. Where I will be like, I'll give you another chance. Give you another like, and that's my weakness. That's mine. That's fine. Whatever. Fair. Fair. But like, where was I going with that? Oh, but yeah, but like, but once I get to the point where I've decided, like, yo, I'm done with you. Mm, okay. That I mean. Okay. What okay. You, you would have to really like show. You would have to show me a pattern that proved me different. It wouldn't be like if someone came crawling back. Like, say that same girl sent me the email, I told her no, and she was like, hey, give me a chance, let's hang out every so often over the next couple months, and let me show you that I'm, whatever, maybe. Let me show you that I'm Right, different. whatever. But but ultimately, <laughs> mainly, mainly, like, yeah, once I get to the point that I'm, like, done with you, I'm done with you. Okay. Like, like I am I am ready to walk away. I couldn't give two it, it, itches less. And you know, there's like, and seriously, there's people out here. That have been dating the same person off and on for years, or they'll marry, divorce, remarry the same person. Oh yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, to me. I'll tell you what, man. My ex-wife came to me and was like, "Hey, we should try to get." <laughs> man, that, like, yeah, <laughs> no, no, but, you wouldn't take it back, Jeff. no, man. I don't want like, oh, it's like I can't. No, mm. dude, I'm like, it's it's uh, fair. Yeah, it's just like.
Yeah, that would be like, now, you know, that's not saying that there aren't people I've dated in the past that, like, we're still friends and, like, like if things, if the situation was right, and they're like, yeah, maybe we should try this again. Because it, it, it may have not ended great, but over years we've, like, stayed in touch and kind of came to, you know, whatever. Especially because the relationship was good for the most part. You maybe just had an incident or something happened yeah, and you were yeah. like, we should go our separate ways. But the, uh, most relationships, dude, they, they decline to the point where it's, like, you're, it's basically, like, it's like that old t-shirt that you love, but like you're like, I shouldn't wear this anymore because like it's it's basically just like a rag. It's, it's rags and holes. Yeah, dude. And then and then you're finally like, Oh my god, I'm sick of you bye. But like Yes. But yeah, dude, going to work to get away from your woman, you should get oh, you should, you should get out of that relationship. Thoughts and prayers to that man. Yeah. Yeah, man. I feel you. Ugh. That's god, always that getting be, those thoughts and prayers. Dude, I would I just don't know like how like if you told like if like I oh, we're over, but dude, if you came to me and were like, man. I went to work today to get away from my girl, Jonas. I'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, how is that man's yeah. friends not being yeah. like, I'm your bro, I'm your boy. <sighs> Stop. Yeah, I, I never want to get into uh, any relationship where I feel like I have to avoid an, another person. <laughs> right, just get that's, out, get yeah. them out of your life. That's Anyways, much. that's all the time we have today's episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe uh, for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.